everybody. I am uh, Laurent Gabé, um, working for Airbus Defence and Space in uh, heading the R&D team. Together with uh, Melanie from uh, Dassault System, uh, we will uh, introduce uh, what is uh, uh, a digital twin uh, in action. So I will uh, I will take care of introducing how we built it, and Melanie will will show and demonstrate how we how she is using it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, est-ce qu'il y a la... Okay. 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 So um, it starts from us, uh, from the from the satellite and and, and the the acquisition. Um, so we have uh, multiple satellites, as introduced by uh, by Vanessa. We are now in a in a digital world, so it means that. Uh, our our satellites are are, uh, are connected to to the earth and the images and the images are uh, automatically downloaded uh, on the on the plat on the google on the on the cloud platform and the adventure start uh, start from there so it means that uh, we will use the the cloud platform in order to do all the processing that uh, i will uh, in introduce uh, just uh, right now Okay, so uh, in fact, for the for for running a simulation, uh, we we have uh, we have to take care of the data. We have to prepare the data the data to be welcomed by the simulation engine. So we we start by uh, what what introduced by Vanessa. It means uh, processing a, a digital. Um, Digital model, a 3D model. So we have an, an example of a, of a digital 3D digital model which has been produced over the city of Aden, so in the in the Middle East. You, you can see that uh, the result is very sharp. W one important point: this is uh, fully automatically produced uh, from uh, nine um, Pleiano images. Uh, that's why we have been able to texture the walls of, of the building. So we create the shape of the of, of the the city, and we are texturing uh, the the walls with, with with the images which has been acquired to produce the three D model. This is very cool, this is very nice, but in fact it's uh, very, very heavy and difficult for the simulation engine to, uh, to use it. So we have uh, we have developed uh, okay another example over Paris uh, so quite cool we are, we are preparing ourselves for the Olympic Games but uh, already you have already seen that so we, we have a pipeline which is uh, to uh, the, the aim of this pipeline is to to um, simplify uh, this uh, this model but in fact uh, creating a kind of CAD model which will be uh, welcomed by the simulation engine. And this this pipeline should uh, should uh, work everywhere in the world. So uh, the the more important point uh, is are the buildings certainly, uh, but also you have uh, the land use. Uh, the simulation engine sh should know that is going through uh, vegetation, trees, or there is a there is a park or, or there is a water or, or buildings. So we we have produced that. We have to produce that. So we have developed uh, AI uh, engines. Uh, which are the, you have some uh, results. Uh, I'm presenting some results here. So we are over the city of Aden. The result that you are looking at right now are, are fully automatically processed uh, for the, for, for um, over the images. So that that's uh, that's quite interesting. And and the challenge for us as it should work uh, this in the same way every everywhere in the world. So here you have a, an example over the city of Enjamena. So you can see that it's really sandy. And, and even the buildings are sandy. So, so for us, that, that's a challenge to be able to, to extract automatically the buildings uh, in this area, but also in, in the more European area. So we are, we are in a Copenhagen here. So a standard, uh, occidental, uh, standard occidental city. So the, the process is working quite well. When that is done, uh, we have to process the land use. So, Another time here, where maybe you don't recognize it, but it's Manhattan. It looks like a small city when you look from the sky, but it's Manhattan. The land use is automatically produced, and it will be very helpful for for the simulation. Another example over the city of uh, Lyon. Uh, I guess I'm not sure anymore, but I think it's Lyon, uh, we, where you have the trees, the buildings, etc. When that is done. Uh, Automatically, we can we can um, we can uh, ex 
start uh, creating the, the CAD model. So uh, that's the next step. So we have extracted the buildings, we have the land use, but we have also on the other side, the 3D model, which has already been produced. So we can easily affect uh, the, the, the Z, the, the H to, to the buildings. It creates uh, what we call the level of detail one. So one more time, an automatic product. So this is uh, quite light quite cool, but may not work for any application uh, when you will see the simulation of the, the wind within the city introduced by Melanie. This is not the best product because it creates some effects on, on, on the edges of the building and that's not welcome because there is some, some uh, turbulence which are created like on an aircraft. So they, they need a, a, a clean representation of, of the roof of the buildings. So here, uh, that's an example where we added the 3D team, the 3D triangles over the buildings instead of having a flat, a flat roof. Okay, that's something that we are currently doing, but our, uh, our goal is to, to, to have a very uh, a kind of a city GML uh, uh, model. So here, uh, the level of detail too, we are working on it. This is an automatic result, but you may look at it rapidly and you see that it's not quite perfect. So we have a PhD uh, currently working on this subject in order to improve, uh, improve those results. Okay, so we have an example of Marseille of those LOD2. So we are ready, the data has been uh, prepared and, and uh, will be uh, transferred to, uh, to Melanie in order to run uh, the processing. So Melanie, the floor is yours. Thank you, Laurent. So yeah, that's our system is really uh, mainly known uh, with Simulia for this, uh, their simulation of aeronautics and automotive um, domains. But here it's a new scale with our partnership with uh, Airbus. And uh, this new scale is uh, the CD scale. And here you have the, the example of Sydney. So uh, Sydney, we simulated uh, with two configurations. So the two main wind direction uh, in that city. And the aim was to uh, know the safe area, uh, putting uh, some um, pollutant emission so two location was uh, was done and uh, here we have to um, first install the, the velocity of the wind through the city and um, then we have to emit the, the pollutant uh, in that simulation so uh, this uh, pollutant could be a, a gas attack uh, a link uh, a chemical link or uh, pollutant from the, the train station or whatever. So here you have the, the representation, so uh, a 3D representation of that um, emission and that propagation through the city. And uh, we have also a slice uh, of uh, this representation to see the wind. And uh, so the configuration two here, the volumic uh, analysis. And uh, so with that two configuration, we can compare and uh, know where the, the wind will, um, will propagate this uh, pollutant and so find the, the area where maybe we can uh, build a school or build an hospital or to make some decision if there is an attack or that kind of uh, problem. So then we have to, um, we can also simulate uh, other domains. So for public services uh, in the cities, we can uh, simulate a heat sink. So we can also make decisions uh, for the, the vegetation. Uh, we can also, so uh, as, uh, as Sydney, uh, simulate the Asian dispersion, but we will talk in a few slides of that city. Or also we can um, so simulate uh, the, the community noises. So in order to, to know if the, the noise from an airport, for example, can disturb the, the community and the people around it. But it's not the, the only case, the public services. Uh, we can also do that for industries. So um, on the top, you can see that we can simulate the, the antenna resistance so the flexibility of that antenna if there is a danger around it or uh, just to, to, to know his uh, resistance 
Um, and also another example, um, quite realistic, is uh, the drone. So the drone uh, can be um, simulated and experimented uh, in the wind tunnel. So wind tunnel is very uh, specific for your industry, but we don't have the, um, the real condition of the environment. And we can also uh, do that in simulation. So uh, put some uh, real condition with the wind, uh, the buildings around it, and uh, all the, the things around the drone if, uh, to know if the flight of the drone is impacted or not. Uh, so talking to the the, the, the other city, so it was Embo. So about Embo, it was a, a, a correlation case. So first we uh, put a, a net gas in the city, so in the real city. Uh, so on the left, you can see that. Uh, so the pollutant was from a boat uh, near the river. And uh, so it was inert, and um, some uh, sensor was uh, put uh, in the city. And uh, in order to compare the data, we do the same uh, in the um, in the mockup. So mockup is a reduced scale of the city that we put in the wind tunnel, so with perfect conditions. And finally, we do the same in our simulation with our tool. Uh, so we simulated the, the city and uh, put the, the same sensors uh, in the city to compare all of that. So here are the, the results. So on the left, you can see the first uh, simulation was uh, so the comparison between the experimentation and the simulation. So the, um, the, the the conclusion was that the points are a little bit uh, far away from the black line. So the black line is uh, the perfect uh, correlation between CFD and experimentation. And uh, in order to fix that, we uh, refined our case, so the setup. And um, to uh, doing that, the aim was to have uh, between 30 and 50% of the points uh, in the tolerance um, interval, and so in the right, on the right, you can see that the final uh, graphic was uh, much better. So more than fifty percent of the points were in that uh, uh, tolerance tolerance uh, interval. So it was a success finally. Okay, th thanks Melanie. So Melanie showed you that in fact uh, the digital simulation is as good and better, even better than, than the on-site uh, uh, measurement or mock-up simulation. So that, that's, uh, we, we have demonstrated our capacity to, to create a digital tune of the earth and to use it. And, and this will be very helpful uh, for uh, decision making by, uh, in order to see how to modify, to, to act uh, on the city, to add more trees or, or to build a bridge or, or whatever. So thanks for your attention. I think we are just in time, I hope, in fact. <laughs> so, uh, and so, but the rest, thank you. <laughs> Thank you.